Hello friends. Welcome to another session of Test Rail Training. This is Manish and in this tutorial we will learn about report configuration in Test Rail tool. So let's get started. Select the project for which you want to configure the report and sorry I'll select the project from here um, and then you'll see the report section at the top so report tabs at the top once you click on the reports you will see all the generated reports till date for that project so since this project doesn't have any reports generated yet so you, you see that uh, section as blank at the moment and then you will see different report options available in test rail so you have reports for test cases you have reports for defect results summary and reports as per user so we'll see the configuration of reports if for example we want to see the activity report configuration for all the reports is almost similar so we'll com cover one report with the configuration so click on activity report and here you have option to provide the name of the report um, and you have option to create the different variables so you can have the activity summary you can rename that so if you want if you like you want to provide different name um, then you can say um, test cases that's possible and then you you have the variables available so you can either select the date or date and time so for example um, that's uh, you want to remove date you can select date and time in place of date um, provide the description for the for the report and then in the report options you have grouping and changes so you can say group the changes by day month or test cases so that will allow you to group the the report or the content of the report based on what criteria you select in the grouping and changes then you have an option to include the following changes so if there are changes to the new new test cases or updated test cases then it will include that and it will do you you, you have an option to select it either all time or today yesterday or what what the time frame you want to uh, include for these changes to be in the report um, then another option is to include links or to exclude them so if you're if you're viewing the report uh, for yourself or you're not sending um, not sharing the report then have the links in the report otherwise if you're sharing the report do not include the links so that will be um, better not to include the links you need to check, uh, select that checkbox um, the other option is what sections you want to include in the report and you can select all the sections or you can select only the specific sections that you have specified within your project then in the test case section you have say for example you want to include what all filters you want to include or what columns you want to see in the particular report you can add more column or you can specify the width of that particular column in the report as well right so that's that's about the report options for that particular report and depending on which report you choose the, these options report options might vary um, the other section is around access and scheduling uh, so who can access the report and if you want to schedule that report for every day or um, you know like weekly or monthly then you can do that in access and scheduling section so at the moment this this report will be visible only to myself or I can access um, this report or if I select myself only or if you want to share this report with everyone in the project then you can select everyone then the second section is around the scheduling of the report so you can create the report just now or you can schedule the report for a particular day week or month and you can specify the time at that particular time this, this report will be scheduled and sh and shared if you 
um, select the sharing option with other stakeholders so I'll uncheck that and the other option is once the report is ready you can either choose to notify yourself with email or you can uh, email you can ask an email uh, a link option so it will uh, send an email with a report link to whosoever you want to choose so if you want to choose multiple users you can select multiple users from this list so I'll check that and then there is a share sharing option for the report so once the report is generated if you want to share uh, the report as an HTML attachment or as a PDF attachment to the persons that you specify in this text box here so you just need to put the uh, person's email with whom you want to share this report as a PDF or XML or as both if you select both so once you're done with that setting if you click on add report um, new report will get added so you'll see that activity summary test cases with date and timestamp is getting generated at the moment so this is generated so if you want to see the report click on the report that has been generated and you will see the activity summary of test cases for rcvacademy.com demo project with the date and timestamp it will show you the changes for um, the created and updated all all the changes around that with the day um, on when the test cases were created and how many were updated and all the changes made by uh, whom and to which test cases the changes were made so these were the new test cases that were created in the first section that you see and below that you will see the updated section for the um, test cases so this is around uh, the reports uh, the other options around report is that you can share this report via email you can um, create a similar or schedule report if you want to delete this report you can click on this little icon to delete this report if you go into the detail of the report again you have the print option share option and you can download the report either as an HTML or PDF format and then you can share it later as a email attachment Hope you like this video. Please subscribe to the channel to get more updates and tutorials like this. Thank you.